everybody, this is Chad Adams here at Adams Hot Rod Shop. I'm doing an overview of Brandy Laird's car. We're doing this overview to put in for the Street Rod Elegance for good guys. First off, we're going to do an overview on the engine compartment and the engine. What we've got here is a flathead Lincoln V12 built by H&H &H Flathead detailed by us. We run 397s on it. Got a little generator, uh, power master up to a walker radiator. We got a custom fan shroud, all that stuff. The engine's been ground and painted. Firewall, we've recessed and made all the firewall. Even when a column comes through, we did a lot of modifications on this I did it 40 column they call it but uh, really works nice shifts out just perfect it's got real 97 carburetors on it everything just painted and detailed works out good motor runs real nice we're running the Vega steering box custom motor mounts uh, most everything on this engine compartment we have made or customized. But that'll be the engine. Now we're going to go over the interior in Randy's car. We did a lot of work on this. This is the interior that was fit up and made in house here at Adams Hot Rod Shop. Jamie Crook at Finish Line Interiors. He did the seat on this one and he covered the door panels for me. Then the floor, we, we recessed panels as well. Everything for a flush fit. Custom made brake pedals. And we modified a SoCal throttle pedal. Then did a more modifications on the, on the 40 column. Brandy wanted to have a lot of the brass look just for elegance on this car. So we did a custom 40 wheel, but it's actually got bent spokes things like that, just a little custom touch on the indicator, the V12, and the dash is out of the, best we can figure out is a 29 Chrysler, and naturally, classic instruments knocked it out of the park, redoing the dash panel for Brandy, and we made the switches come through and custom brass knobs for the ignition and the headlight. Then we'll go to the trunk area. The seat is a modified wise guy's seat. And, uh, we remade the foam for everything. So it really rides nice and it sits good too. So in the trunk, we kind of carry the same, same approach to everything in the trunk of the car. And got a Johnson gas cap there. We try to always use something from our buddies over there, but uh, Anyway, this will this will be the interior of the car. It really looks nice with the color and overall theme. Okay, we're gonna go over the wheels and tires now. Uh, we always call it wheel smith when we got a custom ordered car. Makes some nice wheels, but uh, we took a set of the wheels and had custom sizes made, and they made some more off. Some real nice one-off hood caps, concave right down the Lady Laird Lincoln V12. Coker set us up on the Firestone 72016s. Wheels are 16 or 7. They did the same approach up front. It rolled out with a 15.4 up front. Same deal on the cap. Bowden Brothers brakes behind it. But real happy with the. Well, that turned out, but uh, overall view, the wheel and tire just fits the car absolutely perfect. But that'll be the wheel and tire on the car. Okay, we're going to go over body mods on Brandy's car now. It started life as American Speed 33, 34. We've made a 34 out of it. We've pulled the headlights down in the front for a more aggressive look. Lean the grill back a couple degrees to get it in the right direction. We channeled the front of the car. We channeled it three quarters of an inch to get it look like it's going fast, sitting still. 
Had custom made hood tops, made custom leather straps to highlight the engine. You can see the engine all the time since it was uh, the focus point on the car. Did some work reshaping the tops of the front fenders, custom fender braces as well to get that tire up in that fender better. Roll around to the back. Reshape the backs of the fenders, custom cut tail light stands, custom work on housings as well. When we went to the rear of the car, I never liked the way the rear pan fenders fit on the 34. So we reshaped the pan, got it all matching up real nice. But overall, not tons of body mods. Gotta get the little custom. That fit handle. A few little touches on the car. Left the handle just for easier operations and getting in and out of the car to have a touch the paint. That's the overall body mods. Okay, we're going to go over to paint on Brandy's car. We made a custom mix on this car. Brandy named it Grover Green. It's a PPG base clear. Everything's Painted and sand and buffed out to perfection. Had a lot of good help on the body and paint of this car. A couple guys come in and help me. And that'd be Butch Roper and Harry Henning and Dion Wilcox and Dennis Elmore here at the shop. Bob McIntyre. We all pitched in and got everything painted just slick as a button. Then we went to a gold accents, and that's also a custom mix. And just you know how to always tie in a little black to that and painted the inside of the grill black. But that's the paint on this car, and you can see the finish. It's 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 absolutely perfect. Okay, we're gonna go over the chassis on Brandy's car. What we got up front is a five-inch SoCal drop die bean axle. Bowling Brother brakes. Got uh, we make custom fender braces and stuff to get the car to sit lower. We're also running a custom set of hairpins. That's all made. Real cool looking stuff. Same way on the high rod drag links and stuff like that. Started out with a set of American stamping rails. Fully boxed in our jigs here at the shop by Dennis Elmore. Made some custom covers to clean up the bottom of it. We got a one piece floor pan underneath the car to clean it up real nice. Rolling on the back, we got a set of ladder bars hooked to a winter's V8 quick change. All the full over. Got a custom made gas tank. Rolled on around. We made a custom square bar on the back curve. It looked real cool. You can't see it when the car's on the ground, but it looks cool. Anyway, that's uh, that's the chassis on Brandy's car.